I too grew up with an abusive mother, and in my case it wasn't alcohol, it was uh, violent physical abuse. And no matter how much therapy I went through in my adult life, I still had this feeling of having been a victim of my mother. And even though I'd come to understand what had happened to her in life and you know, World War II and all that she'd been through, still I wasn't free from that victim consciousness. And when I was 39 years old, I ended up with a basketball-sized tumor. And part of the huge gift was I was catapulted on a radical healing journey. And part of that healing journey took me on a journey inside my body to get access to cell memories that were stored there. And what science knows about emotions and when you repress them is that if you feel a strong emotion and you repress it, it releases a quantifiable biochemistry into the bloodstream, which will go to certain cell receptors and block them. And if over time illness happens, it happens where the cells are blocked, obviously. And conversely, what's also known is that when we feel our emotions openly and freely, our cell receptors remain open. And so spontaneously, I was guided into parts of my body where, the, where these old repressed cell memories that were of the violent physical abuse from my childhood. And I thought, it can't be this again. I've so long since handled this. I understand why it happened. I've come to acceptance of it in my life. And yet here it was stored in my body. And what finally happened is I went through a life-changing process where I welcomed my mother to sit with me in my mind's eye at a campfire. And I emptied out all the hurt, the pain, the devastation, the anger, the resentment. I really finally let all the emotions that were stored there, buried there in my cells to come out and, and be wholly expressed out loud. And this, there was quite an emptying out. And then I gave her the invitation, and of course, I had to speak it out for her to express what was going on for her. So it was almost like a conversation I was having where out loud I was releasing what I had never expressed out loud. And I was giving her the opportunity to release what she'd never released and expressed out loud. And when I was fully empty and she was fully empty, it was like all that backed up pain, blame, and judgment had all been released. And then I was invited by my soul to forgive. And I thought, well, how could that make any difference at all? I mean, what difference could forgiveness make? But I came to realize there's a huge difference between accepting, understanding what someone did and actually forgiving them. And in my process of forgiveness, it actually hurt. Because you see, I'd created this whole false identity of Brandon, this noble therapist who'd come to understand and have compassion about her violent past. And so I had to face down 30 years of pride dressed up as compassion. And it hurt to face down that much pride. But I finally did that. And when I forgave, I wholeheartedly, with all my heart, forgave. And it was while I was forgiving, I realized that tumor had never been clinging to me. I'd been clinging to it. And I realized that 30 years of a blame game that I had dressed up as compassion, understanding, acceptance, that it was finally over. Now, I didn't forgive her actions. Some actions are unforgivable, but I found I was able to forgive my mother's soul. And so if you find that you are in a blame frame, feeling a victim 
of someone else's abusive behavior, be it from alcoholism, be it from drug abuse, be it from something that's happened to them in their life and they're just spewing all over you, physical, however the abuse comes, that the real key is first of all, releasing all your stored pain, the unspoken words, the blame, the shame, the anger, the rage, the, all of it. And then coming to an understanding of what's taken place. And ultimately the key is forgiveness. And that's when you let go of your entire story of blame. And when new cells are born, they're de born devoid of that old consciousness as new regenerative cells. And in my case, in only six and a half weeks time after three processes, I ended up tumor free without drugs or surgery. So my prayer is everyone gives themselves their wake up call before it manifests as illness. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this process, of how to, in a very real way, get to these cell memories and go through your own radical process of clearing. My suggestion is you get on thejourney.com and there the book called The Journey is free and you can download it. It's, it's an abbreviated form or you can get on Amazon and, and get it there and really learn how this very radical life-changing process can really heal every area of your life. And on that website, we also have journey practitioners. We have courses that you can take where you can learn how to roll up your sleeves in a very real and very visceral way, experience the entire journey and how to heal your life. So I hope this has been helpful to you and a heartfelt namaste.